ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਆਮ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਮਾਈ ਪਾਰਟ ਇਨ ਇੰਗਲਿਸ਼ ਐਂਡ ਇਨ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਟੂ ਦ ਬੈਸਟ ਆਫ ਮਾਈ ਕੈਪੈਸਿਟੀ ਸੋ ਹੂਐਵਰ ਇਜ਼ ਲਿਸਨਿੰਗ ਇਨ ਇੰਗਲਿਸ਼ ਲੈਟਸ ਗੋ ਓਵਰ ਕਾਈਂਡ ਆਫ ਸਮ ਆਫ ਵਾਟ ਆਈ ਵਾਂਟਡ ਟੂ ਸਪੀਕ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਆਮ ਆਈ ਨੋ ਐਵਰੀਵਨ ਅਪ ਹੀਅਰ ਟੂਕ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਟ ਅਪਰੋਚਸ ਟੂ ਵਾਟ ਦੇ ਵਰ ਟ੍ਰਾਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਸੇ ਆਮ ਸਮ ਆਫ ਦ ਡਬਲ ਸਟੈਂਡਰਡਸ ਥੈਟ ਐਗਜ਼ਿਸਟ ਵਿਥਿਨ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਐਂਡ ਦ ਇੰਡੀਅਨ ਨੇਸ਼ਨ ਸਟੇਟ so that's i'm going to continue to talk about a few of the misconceptions that surround the the Khalistan movement and the Sikh liberation movement um so i'm just going to make four small points so if we can all take these home with us that would be that would be a great thing and it would be worthy of coming to such events so the first thing i want to go over a misconception that is generally said is people that support punjab are disrupting the peaceful environment in punjab kende be hindu sikh bhai chare nu eh jehde khalistani hai kharab karde ya so a point i wanted to make about that is if you look at the state of punjab right now farmers are dying by suicide every week every month there's some type of protest every week or every month guru sahib di biad bhi hundi ya so which part of punjab currently is peaceful people of punjab have the right to advocate for their liberation and that is what we're continuing to do so the the fact that people say that khalistanis are disrupting a peaceful environment they are in fact disrupting nothing all they're disrupting is the the dialogue and what the indian nation state is trying to pass within the media that is all that sikh collaboration supporters are disrupting second thing the khalistani is supported only by a few people by and large most people are against it if you look at the ikatt around you hayara jathe ikatt hunda in the east coast in canada in toronto in surrey in england hayara jathe hunda so what i want to know is the logic which with they behind they say that there's only a few people that support the sikh liberation that is in fact a fallacy there are thousands hundreds of thousands of people that support sikh liberation around the world and that's something that we need to recognize for ourselves third point which is what a lot of people say khalistan is not practical there would be too many logistical issues so some of the narrative that the indian nation state is trying to pass is that punjab is landlocked they won't have access to lots of resources they'll be cut off from the rest of the world therefore khalistan nahi banna chahiye kyunki it's not practical it won't work out that is the narrative that they're trying to pass my question to everyone here and everyone watching is when any new country is formed they don't have a exact logistical plan of what they want the country to look like they run under the premise that living on my feet is better than dying on my knees as punjabis are second class citizens in punjab right now that is a fact the narrative that's trying to be pass is everything is peaceful but that's not the reality according to what we've experienced we run under the premise that freedom is more valuable than our life asi mar sakde ha par asi gulam nahi reh sakde so when you say that it's not practical and it won't work out and how will your government run and where will you get resources from these are all small little details in comparison to freedom punjabis six people around the world if you look at revolutionary movements all value freedom more than their lives mlk died fighting for what he believed for malcolm x all of these people died fighting for freedom so the logistical details are not important so let's get rid of this fallacy that kidda chaluga khalistan kidda banunga kidda chalaunge tusi let's get rid of this fallacy and accept that freedom is more important than any of these logistical details these will be worked out in the future fourth point that i want to make really briefly before we head off is 
ਬਹੁਤ ਜਾਣੇ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਆ ਵੀ ਸਾਡੇ ਤੋਂ ਤਾਂ ਆਪਣੇ ਗੁਰਦੁਆਰੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਚੱਲਦੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਇਹ ਦੇਸ਼ ਕਿੱਦਾਂ ਚਲਾਉਂਗੇ ਐਂਡ ਵਾਟ ਆ ਵਾਂਟ ਟੂ ਆਸਕ एवरीवन अगेन इज व्हिच होम इज इट आउट देयर दैट डजंट हैव प्रॉब्लम्स एवरी रिलीजन एवरी इंस्टीट्यूशन एवरी हाउसहोल्ड एवरी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हैज इट्स प्रॉब्लम्स our gurdwara committee yes we acknowledge that some of them do have the indian interests in mind but that doesn't delegitimize the massacre the genocide that is occurring within punjab lakhan di ginti ch sade bande mareya ohna ne so the fact that they say thar to gurdwara nahi chalde thar to desh kidda chaluga that is also a fallacy freedom is more important than all of these little details so a mexican revolutionary once said i'd rather die on my feet than live on my leave live on my knees i'm sorry once we give freedom the importance it deserves then liberation becomes the only solution so do not fall victim to these misconceptions aa jehdiyan char cheezan kahiyan hai tusi gharan ch leke jao let's dispel all the fallacies that have been spread around to try to delegitimize the whole movement these are details compared to the genocide and the killings that occur so we will finish it off khalistan 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 akal takht to aayi awaaz khalistan akal takht to aayi awaaz khalistan khalistan pindra wale sant sipahi ਢਰਾ ਵਾਲੇ ਸੰਤ ਸਪਾਈ ਬੋਲੇ ਸੋ ਨਿਹਾਰ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ